Government agencies have started drafting budget proposals for next year. And one of them, of course, is the Agriculture Department that has its sights on an even bigger fund. We have with us Ria Fernandez reporting to us live from Pasig City. Ria, exactly how much is the DA asking for for 2021 and what is this money going to go to? Sean, the Department of Agriculture is asking for a 284 billion pesos budget in 2021. If approved, this will be a more than 200% increase from the department's current allocation of 80 billion pesos. During today's House panel hearing, Agriculture Secretary William Dar said the amount will help them reboot the agri-fishery sector. He says investing in this sector would open more livelihood opportunities, especially amid the COVID-19 pandemic. The proposed budget was broken down to two tiers. The first one, amounting to 62 billion pesos, will be used to fund requirements for the department's ongoing programs and projects and three-year estimates. While the second, worth 223 billion pesos, will serve as an augmentation fund. The Office of the Agriculture Secretary is set to receive the biggest chunk of the budget at 200. 18 billion pesos, followed by the National Food Authority and the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources. Despite support from some lawmakers, Dar said that the Department of Budget and Management approved a 62 billion peso ceiling for their budget next year. Even House Agriculture Committee Chairman Mark Enverga admitted that the amount requested by the agency may be too big. He then asked its officials to submit a more realistic proposal. Sean, the House Agriculture Committee will be drafting a resolution for the Department of Agriculture's proposed budget for 2021. Among the things that lawmakers want to be ensured are the assistance to the farmers and food security. Sean? All right, Ria, with regard to that augmentation fund worth $200 billion, why is it actually even bigger than the main allocation that they're asking for budget-wise? The explanation of the agriculture officials is that they really want to boost the agriculture modernization by buying more seeds, fertilizers, vaccines, especially that we know that there is the threat, there is still the threat of swine flu and the other farm supplies. All right, now uh, with regard to the budget now for farmers and fishermen, uh, with uh, the loans that they are supposed to be able to. To, to get from the government? Do they have new programs in mind? Um, of course, in the sense or in the context of economic recovery as well in the time of COVID? Yes, that's part of the plan of the Department of Agriculture to really help our farmers and our fisher folks. Um, however, um, they are asked by the committee, by the lawmakers to submit a more specific plan for these sectors. While waiting for that, any updates on rice importation, buffer stocks? Um, of course, we're still suffering from the pandemic. And although there are enough stocks, how is it uh, going forward? Is there, are they foreseeing any shortages perhaps? Because we did experience, I think, some problems with Vietnam initially. Mm -hmm. Earlier in the hearing, one of the reasons or one of the um, explanations of uh, Secretary William Dar why they are asking for a really big budget is that um, they acknowledge the impact, the negative impact of the passage of the rice tarification law to the farmers. And um, he told the lawmakers that among the things that he wanted to do is really to subsidize credit for the farmers and to provide training programs for them. All right, this is only the beginning of that budget saga for 2021. Thank you very much, Ria Fernandez of News 5, for joining us today from Pasig. Here are other stories we're keeping our eyes on. Quezon City Mayor Joy Belmonte tested positive for COVID-19. In a statement, Mayor Belmonte said she's not experiencing any symptoms. The mayor's office, as well as common areas over at the QC City Hall, have been closed for disinfection. And the Manila Police District formed a task force to investigate the killing of Manila Chief Inquest Prosecutor Jovencio Senados. The National Bureau of Investigation is likewise probing the incident after the order of Justice Secretary Menardo Guevara. ABS-CBN announces that it will stop operations of ACJO shopping 
by the end of this year. The network says it will let go of its employees starting August 7 after experiencing financial losses for the last two years. ACJO Shopping is ABS-CBN's joint venture with Korean company CJENM in selling products on TV under the O Shopping brand. For more updates, follow News 5, The Philippine Star, and Business World online. Visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. You can also catch One News on the Signal Play app. Just register for a free account at www.signalplay.com and stream One News Live anytime, anywhere. I'm Sean Yao. We are One News.